So if we continue on this, uh, we can actually add a couple new shield management commands. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So we're going to call this balance shields or center shields, right? So balance or center shields. And this one's pretty easy. Uh, it's just the number pad 5. And we don't really need to do anything crazy with it. That just it centers all the shield power and we should be able to execute that without any special cases. So we'll put it on a shield management. That'll be fine. Now we're going to take this um, same direction loop here. Let me copy them out. So all the direction options. I'm going to do something new. So this is going to be full power to whatever direction shields. So, we'll just call it full power 2, put it in the right shield management commands. So again, we're going to set a text value. Uh, we're going to call this input direction, and it's going to be equal to the command token. Go ahead and place that. Then we're also going to do some string replacement. So input direction. And we're going to set the value again. We're going to do the text replace. And we're replacing input direction. We're replacing full power to. And we're replacing it with blank. So we're just going to remove that. And oh, get the, this one here. And now the direction, uh, shields at the end, that'll also be trimmed. So it should be all right. And then let's write that value to the event log. Again, in red, uh, direction. And this is text input direction. So, well, we got this. Let's go ahead and test it. Full power to bottom shields. Full power to left shields. Full power to top shields. And there we go. Each time the direction parsed through just as we needed it. So, let's go ahead and make it do something. So, first of all, as we do all of that, we can actually, the first thing we want to do is we're doing uh, the power adjustment. So we want to make sure the shields are balanced so we always start off at that center. We could either do that by having this press the number pad 5 key, or we could have, uh, sorry, as I get click happy, we could just have voice attack execute this balance center shields option. So uh, this is what helps as you build out a library of all the keybinds as their own commands, uh, you can actually execute them directly. So we go ahead and execute that balance center shield command, and then we're going to do some conditionals. So we could write all of our own, or what we can do is just copy from this previous. So we're going to look at the same groups back here, right? And I'm going to copy all those out. And I'm just going to paste them in. Now you're going to notice uh, this is direction instead of input direction. So we can actually go through and change all these variables up here if that works. Um, and that should get us all on the same variable name. So we'll get that going. Change these out so we can use the same direction and it it matches all those conditionals. Okay, and then we're going to if it equals forward. So now we're expecting a loop value. So we know if we're going to balance out the shields, we could do 100% power to forward shields, and that would be enough to get us all of that power. So we're going to set an integer value. So we're actually going to create the loop integer, and we're just going to 
put it right to 20. So we know that is as many times as we're going to use it on any of these options. Then at the end, let's go ahead and have it confirm that request once it's done. So confirm request, hit OK, and we'll give it a try. And go ahead and just watch it as it executes here. Full power to forward shields. Full power to left shields. Full power to right shields. Full power to bottom shields. Okay, just wanted to make sure the randomizer was working there as well. So as you can see, each time we started off hitting the number pad 5, that was to balance the shields out, and there was a total of 20 times it pushed the other keys, and that is enough to uh, move the full power over.